Hello my dear friends. So today's video is just gonna be a very casual, chatty, me thinking about the future. So it's coming to the end of summer and oh my god, this summer in the UK is just scarily hot. Scary in terms of like the climate crisis and stuff, but if you see me sweating and dying, like that is why. And I'm going into my final year of university which is, I don't know, it feels so strange that I'm at this point of my life already. It feels like literally just yesterday that I was on my gap year, that I was stressing about the future, about which university to go to, that I was worrying about what to study, what to do for my degree, all of this stuff. And now this chapter is also coming to an end. And I can't tell you how much I've appreciated the bubble of uni because I don't have to think too much about future life. But today I am channeling some of this future anxiety into something quite reflective and productive. It's so cute, a few weeks ago one of you commented on a video that I should take myself on a date inspired by the envelope heart emoji and when I saw it I was like I need to write myself a letter. I wrote down that idea in my notion and I kid you not Two days later, this amazing company called Future Me reached out to me and they basically let you send letters to your future self. And I was just like, wow, that is such a synchronicity that I need to make this video. So this video is kindly sponsored by them. I don't have a big plan or a big structure, but what I wanna do is I want to write a letter to myself in one year. So when I finish my last year of uni, when I'm working out what I wanna do next with career and all of that stuff, where I wanna be, kind of reflect on what I want my last year to hold and also to give myself this reassurance about how scary I'm imagining the post-graduation fear to be. And then I want to write a letter to myself in either three or five years when I'm definitely beyond undergraduate university and thinking about what I'll be doing. And I'm also gonna try and create some kind of vision board using photos, images to help me visualize how I want my life to look. But yeah, I hope this inspires you to think more lightly and playfully about your future as opposed to having it all in your head, just channeling it into this lovely message for future you. I'm gonna write my letter on my Remarkable because I love this thing. It's a tablet that makes you feel like you're writing on paper and the beauty of it is that it has an app where I can turn my written text into typed text and then make it a letter that I can send myself in a year on future me. If this is something that you would like to also do this summer, I really recommend dropping into your intuition before you do it. So what does that mean? It means I think we have two main systems we operate by. One is this conscious, rational, logic, ego-based brain, which I've really found myself prey to in the last year or so, like always coming from a more thought logic perspective, as opposed to the intuition, which is this gut feeling that guides you. It's often hard to explain. You can't always rationalize it, but generally you do know exactly what you need and what you want. And so I'm really trying to tap into that today. This morning I went for a bike ride. I went and sat by a lake. I climbed a tree. I did a meditation in nature. I just cycled listening to this wonderful podcast and I got home and I was like, it's time, I need to do it. So yeah, feel free to do a meditation or something to get in the zone. Okay, that felt so nice and reflective. I'm not gonna read you all of it because some of it is a bit personal, but the way that I've done it is split it up into sections. So like career, relationship, where I want to be living, my family, things like that. Anything that's currently on my mind right now, I would assume it's gonna change or evolve in some way in one year. So it's quite nice to 
predict it, to ask myself questions, asking myself things like, are you single? Like, are you with this person? Like, what are you doing? Are you living in Berlin? Are you living in the Netherlands? Are you at home? Like, where are you right now? And something I really wanted to get across in this letter is that I love myself because I have this fear that after university I'm just gonna be in like, yeah, a confused place. And so knowing that I've got my own back from the past, I think would be nice. I also wrote a section reflecting on my values as I know them to be right now. I feel very connected to my values in this present moment. So I want my future self to be reminded of my own values and what makes me happy. So that if I'm not aligned with them in a year, I can change my life to feel good again. So cute. Okay, I just converted all my handwriting into written text and emailed it to myself. There's like a few things which are wrong, so I'm gonna change that and then put it into future me. Ah, okay, this is so exciting. I've typed it all up into future me and I'm gonna pick one year, deliver it in one year, make this letter private, send to the future. Yay! I have one letter that has travelled to the future and is waiting for you. That's so cool. If you're interested in sending your future self a letter, whether it's because you're setting goals and you want to see if you actually achieved them, if it's because you think that future you might need some reassurance from you right now, or if it's because you just want to reflect on your life. Future Me is so easy, so simple, it's free. You literally just go onto the app or the website, you just write your letter, you click a date that you want to receive it and you send it. That's it. You can check out the link in my description, but yeah. One easy, wonderful experience. I'm so excited to receive this. I literally can't imagine what my life will be 